We now know more about the Sun than ever before thanks to space agencies like NASA and the ESA. And more recently, astronomers managed to capture this crazy phenomenon that happens on the Sun all the time. In this video, we'll be going through that and some other crazy facts about the Sun. Solar Storms Solar storms are strange disturbances within the Sun's atmosphere that can sometimes have devastating effects on the Earth's climate, as well as the solar system in general. Scientists have been trying to figure out whether it's an increase in solar storms that's causing temperatures on Earth to rise rapidly over the past few decades. It's believed that the frequency of these solar storms is increasing as the Sun evolves further and that it may just change the way the solar system functions. There are many different kinds of solar storms, such as solar flares that you've probably heard of. When it comes to the effects solar storms can have on the solar system in general, solar flares are probably the least intensive. Solar flares are sudden bursts of brightness caused by disturbances in the Sun. They happen very close to the Sun and most of the time are hard to detect. Even the most powerful solar flares are barely detectable, let alone by the human eye. There's another type of solar storm that usually follows solar flares, and that's coronal mass ejection, or CME. Unlike solar flares that usually happen around the Sun's surface, CMEs are a leak out of the Sun's corona. It's when a significant amount of plasma being produced by the Sun ends up finding a crack and making its way out of the Sun's atmosphere. Hence, the same coronal mass ejection. Some CMEs can be so large that they can even collide with the Earth's magnetosphere. This is known as a geomagnetic storm. The last time something like that happened was in the 1800s, and it nearly destroyed the newly created telegraph system that was vital for long-distance communication on Earth. CMEs lead to the creation of coronal clouds, which some people confuse with the CME itself. Some of the most interesting solar storms that NASA has actually managed to capture are called solar particle events. It's when all these tiny little solar particles collectively become aggravated during a solar event, such as the ones we just mentioned, and they create this incredible formation that can be considered something similar to an aurora, but on the Sun. In fact, when these solar winds end up colliding with the Earth's magnetic field, they actually do create the auroras here as well. NASA's TRACE satellite managed to capture this event on camera once, and so far it's the only picture of a solar particle event actually happening. The Size and Evolution of the Sun As pretty much all of us already know, the Sun is the largest object in our solar system. It's the central object that all of the planets in our solar system orbit around, and it's one of the very few things we can actually see clearly from space. 99.8% of all of the mass in our solar system belongs to the Sun alone, which can give you an idea of simply how massive this star is. In fact, if the Sun was just a hollow ball, you could fit over a million Earths inside of it, as crazy as it may sound. But on the grand scale of things, the Sun actually isn't that big. For thousands of years, humans thought that the Sun was the largest object in the entire universe. However, as science progressed and we eventually discovered brand new galaxies and even planets beyond our solar system and the Milky Way, that theory was disproven rather quickly. We now know about absolutely massive stars and objects that absolutely dwarf the Sun, even if that may sound incomprehensible to most of us. The Stevenson 2-18 star is the largest known star in the universe, and it has a radius that is over 2100 times the radius of the Sun. If the Sun was placed right next to the Stevenson 2-18 star, you would barely even notice it. But despite it being small when compared to other stars, it's still hard to deny that the Sun is absolutely massive, but that's just temporary. The Sun, much like all other objects in the universe, is constantly evolving. The Sun is getting brighter and brighter over time. In approximately 1.5 billion years from now, the Sun will be 10% brighter than it is today. In 3.5 billion years, it will be over 40% brighter. This will in turn make the planets that orbit the Sun even hotter, and the Earth might start to resemble something more similar to what Venus is now, a real-life hell. But this doesn't really explain how the Sun will change in size. Well, as the Sun keeps getting brighter, it'll eventually enter what is known as its red giant phase. This is when a star gets so bright that all of the hydrogen in its core becomes exhausted causing the Sun's core to heat up and expand rapidly. 
the sun will start to get more of a red hue compared to its more yellow or orange hue currently. And it will get so large that the entire area where Mercury, Venus, and even the Earth are located within now will all be occupied by the sun. However, scientists don't predict that the sun will actually eat up these planets, but rather that they will shift their orbit further. At the end of the red giant phase, the sun will enter stellar evolution. This will be when stellar winds start to collide with the sun, and the sun will begin to lose massive amounts of mass at once. Eventually, the sun will be so small that it'll be comparable in size to the Earth and will turn into what is known as a white dwarf star. And it may be the end of our solar system as we know it. The sun is going to change drastically over time, but that won't be happening until the sun is at least 10 billion years old. As of right now, the sun is in the middle of its life cycle and is around 4.59 billion years old. Other Sun Facts you might think that the sun is simply a burning ball of fire, and to be fair, you'd be technically correct in that assessment. But there are a lot more layers to the sun than simply that. What we see of the sun is called the photosphere. This is the part of the sun that is on fire, with an average temperature of around 6,000 degrees. Beneath that layer is the convective zone where temperatures are significantly lower, but it's hard to actually tell what the temperature of this layer is. However, once you get even deeper into the sun's core, the temperatures once again pick up steam and can reach up to 13.6 million degrees. Another interesting fact about the sun that you might not already know about is that different parts of the sun actually rotate at different speeds. That may sound strange or even impossible, but it's important to understand that the sun is a star and nothing like any planet like the Earth or Mars. The Sun is essentially a giant sphere of hydrogen gas, and the parts of the Sun near its equator are actually moving faster than the parts of the Sun near its poles. The Sun's insides are also moving at different speeds than its outside. What's truly crazy is that you can actually see this phenomenon happen by looking at the movement of the sunspots on it. We are only going to know more about the Sun as numerous missions from NASA and other space agencies mature. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory that was built in a collaboration between NASA and the ESA has already taken so many incredible snapshots of the Sun already since it was first launched in 1995. NASA also sent the Stereo spacecraft into space to study the way the Sun works in 2006, rather than simply just take pictures of it. The Stereo spacecraft managed to give astronomers a 3D perspective of the Sun, and it taught it a lot more about the weather system in our solar system. More recently, NASA and the ESA have entered another collaboration with their Solar Orbiter project. This spacecraft was launched in February of 2020 and is expected to begin its mission by orbiting around the Sun in November of 2021. Despite the mission not even beginning yet, the Solar Orbiter has already managed to capture images of the Sun's surface, including the closest image of the Sun ever taken and only time will tell what other amazing images it is set to capture. And that's a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time.